Hello there. Hey, it's Coach Deb. Um, I'd like to spend a little bit of time talking to you about um, coping styles. You know, we have had a major challenging year here um, with the pandemic, um, the upcoming election, and um, people are kind of stretched to the max. So I wanted to share some thoughts on what are some positive coping styles and what are some ones that need improvement and um, give you a framework maybe to look at how you tend to cope in your own life and um, maybe a little bit of uh, food for thought about how you can up level that. So uh, to get started, um, the healthiest coaching style or one of the healthiest is actually called active coping. And here's the description of it. Um, this is where you take responsibility for the situation and you look for options. You take charge not only of the situation, but of your emotions around the situation as much as you can. And if the situation can't be changed, you still take care of yourself emotionally and deal with your emotions. So what is your self-talk look like when you're using an active coaching, a coping strategy? You say things to yourself like, what can I do to make the situation better? What have I learned in the past that'll help get me through this situation? How do I wanna be in this situation? What kind of person do I wanna embody right now? What can I learn from this event? And what can I do to take care of my own needs in this situation? So that's active coping. Another positive coping style is called surrender. And there are certainly times when surrender is appropriate. So here's what that looks like. Surrender is when you let go of the things that you can't control, like the serenity prayer, right? You take responsibility for what is under your control, but you're also aware of your limits. You know when your efforts to change things are not gonna work anymore. So here's a glimpse of your self-talk when you're in that surrender coping strategy. What should I invest my energy in and what should I not invest it in? When is enough enough? When will my efforts make a difference? If there's anything I can do, what can I do? So again, you know, surrendering things that are out of our control, a healthy style of coping. Now the next couple that I'm gonna describe are um, not the healthiest and if you see yourself in these and certainly you know in different situations we all fall into different coping strategies but if you see this as a routine pattern in your life you might want to uh, consider uh, taking a look at that and and seeing if you want to stay there so there's a style of coping called passive coping and to me, this seems like um, victim mentality, actually. So in passive coping, there are things that you can control, but you're not. You're choosing not to. Uh, and you're also not dealing with your emotions. So the self-talk around uh, passive coping is, it's no use trying to change things. There's nothing I can do. I don't have what it takes to deal with this. I have no clue how to deal with this. Somebody else is to blame for this. Why me? And life always treats me badly. So not really very helpful in terms of affecting any change or taking care of your emotions. 
And then there's the over-controlling coping style. And in this style, you're spending a lot of time and effort trying to figure out how to make things work or how to make things go your way. You're afraid if that you don't rigidly control things, things are gonna turn out very badly. And when you over control things, you're actually overestimating your ability to control. You believe that there's more that you can actually do to change things than there truly is. And I would describe this mentality as more of a hero type of mentality. So here's what's going on in your head when you're in uh, the over controlling strategy. If I don't fix this, everything will fall apart. I must succeed no matter what the cost. I have to push myself harder and harder and harder. I must keep everything under control. I have to be perfect. I have to fix everything. And I must be strong at all times. So again, you're really kind of overestimating what you can do. And at the same time, you're really not dealing with any of your emotions. So I hope that little peek into uh, coping styles is helpful to you. And thanks for listening. And as always, stay safe and take care. Bye now.